Well, how many times have you seen movies with titles that don't seem to fit? That may be the case with The Sphinx, and Phoebe Burns is here with a review. But then they might fit. The Sphinx is one of those terrible movies which gives a film crew a chance to go to a lovely vacation spot for a few weeks. It's a hokey story about a beautiful scientist played by Leslie Ann Down who goes to Cairo and gets mixed up with a gang that's selling rare Egyptian artifacts on the black market. One of her co-stars, incidentally, is Sir John Gielgud, who is killed quickly and thus saved any further embarrassment from being in this movie. The Sphinx is a glorified travelogue, a two-hour version of how I spent my summer vacation. too bad the movie really wasn't like that. It's too bad it isn't a comedy because Miss Down plays an Egyptologist who reads hieroglyphics with ease, but when she's lost in a Cairo bazaar, she can't even say police in Arabic. And what's more, she stays in a huge hotel where shots are fired near midnight and no one seems to notice it. This hotel must cater to American fraternities. As for Miss Down's lover in the movie, Frank Langella, he must wait until the very last scene to be killed. Too bad for him. What will puzzle you the most is the title of this movie, The Sphinx, is several hundred miles away from the rest of the story. But when you consider that The Sphinx has long been a symbol of the silent and lifeless, well, Susan, it's not such a bad title after all. <laughs> really. Thank you, B.B.